Well, here we are. We are down to under four weeks before Uber and Lyft say they plan to hit the road and leave the Twin Cities. And new this morning, state Republicans failed in their effort to force a vote to prevent Minneapolis from setting pay for rideshare drivers. So both Uber and Lyft have said that they plan to leave the cities on May 1st. Our Pauline Lee joining us live this morning with a closer look at what is next. Pauline? Yes, a lot of people would like to know what is next. Unfortunately, there really is no end in sight just yet. Let's go back to what happened overnight. The Republicans tried to make a motion to suspend the rules during the floor debate last night. That way they could bypass some of the legislative process and take a vote on their preemptive bill. Only 62 lawmakers voted yes. Republicans needed 90 to pull it off. So now there's multiple plans on the table as they still try to figure out a solution to keep Uber and Lyft operating in the city. Uh, House Republicans are still urging Democrats to support their preemptive bill, which would override Minneapolis's new ordinance and prevent any city or municipality from making their own rules on rideshare driver pay. Democrats, on the other hand, are backing a bill that would set rideshare rules, including a minimum pay of $1.39 per mile and 49 cents per minute, which is actually near identical to the rates that would go into effect May 1st in Minneapolis. Party leaders say they are working with the city to find a solution so that both Minneapolis and the state are on the same page with their regulations. Republicans say they want in on that discussion. We need to be partners with them and we are working hard to find a path that will allow our drivers to be paid adequately and that will keep companies in our state. There is no way you can do this with DFL only votes. Okay, you're going to need our help. We're here to help you. We did it on the school resource officer bill and we'll do it again. But you have to include us in the meetings you're having and in the conversations you're having because right now you're not. Now, Lyft has said it supports a new state study that was recently released that offers some slightly lower wages for drivers than what was passed in Minneapolis. Minneapolis City Council could reconsider its ordinance at a meeting next week. Meanwhile, at least four new rideshare companies have applied for a license to operate in Minneapolis. And guys, the clock is ticking. Yeah. It sure is. Right. Still up in the air. Thanks, Pauline.